Welcome to the Autumn Olympics? <laughs> Judging by the weather, you would think that it is the autumn, winter. We're, we're in Paris for the Summer Olympics 2024. They're excited to be here. It's raining like crazy. The weather's been terrible. At least we don't have an outdoor event to go to today. Incorrect. We're starting with beach volleyball. And here's the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> says umbrella when it's raining that song by Rihanna gets stuck in my head. What song? I don't want to sing it. You can say it under my umbrella. Ella. Oh that's copyright. We can't do it. Definitely not as crowded around Paris as we thought it would be this morning. The train from our hotel here, nobody, nobody on it. There's crowds here but I think everyone's going to the beach volleyball with us. Well found the crowds and the smokers. Bagat acquired. This line is so long we needed food to stand in it. But it's moving now. For the classic tickets behind me. Bonjour. Bonjour. <laughs> Asking me to open my vest. Uh-huh. All right, we're in the venue. The stands are over there. There's all sorts of silliness going on around the beach volleyball stadium. Silliness? Yeah, there's like food and drinks and you can play beach volleyball over there. They've like built this thing out. It's like a little city in here. Yeah, look how big the stands are. Yeah, wow. So there's a ton of security. We went through two levels of security and ticket checks. Understandable. You may have heard about a little incident with the train lines yesterday and we were on those train lines. Not how we expected to start filming on this trip. We're in the Amsterdam airport waiting for our train to Paris to start our Olympic journey. And there has been some sort of... Vandalism is what they're calling it. Setting fires to the train tracks. I don't think they know a lot yet. It kind of just happened, but trains coming from all directions. On the high-speed rails. On the high-speed rails from Lille, from Bordeaux, everything into Paris, there's some kind of nonsense. We may not even be able to get to Paris if this is what happens. I mean, allegedly they're rerouting people to come in from a different way, and it's gonna be like everybody's going that way now, so. Here we go. on the train. I don't know how far we're gonna get, but we're heading somewhere near France. All right, we found our seats. We kicked the stray Americans out that were in the wrong section. Ah, uh, well, these are pretty, I mean, we're right in the middle of the net, I guess. We're very central. We're pretty, not on the pretty line. good seats. I'll, I'll take it. Yeah. For buying fairly blind, not knowing what to expect. This is great. Eiffel Tower, beach volleyball. I mean, here doing we good. Are. It's raining still, but and we're, lighten up a little bit. we're covered up. Off we go. Olympics 2024. <laughs> My favorite thing about the entire Olympics so far is the monster block. When there's a big block, they play this stupid song, and everyone does this. It's awesome. I have Pommier all over my face. Yeah, Olympic yeah. event number one is, is done. Done. We, we did it. Uh, the USA lost. But they gave a good fight though. Like it was actually a fun match to fun watch. Fun match. The Cuban yeah. team was really good. And they were like seven feet tall. They're too, very tall. So. And then we saw Sweden and Australia, and Sweden's actually the number one ranked men's beach volleyball team in the world. And you could tell. They, they were, were very good. Really good. That it was, was fun. so fun though. It rained the whole time. Well, I mean. It didn't pour, but it just like drizzled the whole time. It's still drizzling. We definitely brought the Dutch weather with us. Uh, we have another event tonight, but we're going to run back to our hotel and get out of all these wet clothes because so mercifully tonight we're indoors. 
We saw the very first event at the Stadium Eiffel Tower. That's right. That's, that's right. So. Uh, tomorrow you're going to have better weather than we did. And at some point we should talk about how the Paris 2024 logo, the O that has the flame torch in it, looks like a woman's face also. I swear to God, after you told me that, that's all I, can I see. can't unsee it now. I think they did that on purpose. I think so because the little bottom of the flame thing looks like lips. It does look like lips. Right? That's so weird. Maybe because the game this year are half and half men and women. It's like the first time the most women that have ever competed at the Olympics is this year. Did you know cool. this is also the largest team the Netherlands has ever sent to the Olympics? And did you know that the U.S. has the most Olympians here out of every country? Olympic facts. At least it's not raining anymore. We're going to see some of the men's gymnastics tonight. I think you're missing out, out on all the female stuff. I think you were hoping we were gonna see some female something, but. Yeah, who bought these tickets? <laughs> and the women are too expensive, <laughs> rightly so. True, Simone Biles costs a lot. Man, I would love to see her though. That would have been really cool. We're at the arena, Bercy, Bercy Arena, where there's gymnastics. The line is not for under the stadium. That's gonna be a problem. Just for a picture. That's the problem. So it's it's under the grass hill. I like that. If you hadn't noticed, we went back to our hotel after the beach volleyball. Cleaned we were drenched. Our, we were drenched, soaking wet. Cleaned ourselves up a little bit. Lo-fi dinner, baguette and ham and cheese in the in the room. We're still gonna need something else, but those Italian folks had the biggest flags they could possibly find for Italy. Like, who goes into the store and is like, give me the biggest Italian flag that you sell? No, wait, cool. two. <laughs> All right, we're in the arena. We're waiting for the gymnastics event to start. I'm excited to watch this. We have like a bird's eye view up here of all of one, two, three, four, five, six events. This is the third round of qualifying, so this determines who goes to the finals of each event and then the all around. I'm excited. I appreciate that they're trying to make a show out of this. They got lights and sound and like they played silly games in the arena. They are trying to make it fun. So that you're sitting here waiting and not twiddling your thumb. It all happens at once. Like I don't really know where to look. When you watch it on TV, it's like they show you like, you know, the main event or if you're in the United States, they show you the United States people. This is just like, there's six different things. Good luck. <laughs> We did it. We watched gymnastics. The U.S. is in the all-around final. My nails were good luck. That's pretty cool. All right, that's our first day at the Olympics, I think. Katrina. Oh, you want to get organized? Hold on. Let, let me let her get organized. All right, she's organized now. I would say it was interesting. My first take on the Olympics. I didn't get like big event vibe, right? It was like we were at an event, but it wasn't like the Olympics, like all over or anything. There was like Olympic branding and stuff everywhere. Like, what do you mean? I didn't feel like the whole city was like Olympics. I felt like we went to a couple places oh. where the Olympics were being held. This morning, there was nobody anywhere. Yeah, that's true. But I think once you get into like the certain areas that like it's Olympic. You got the vibe? I mean, yeah. I thought they did a really nice job though of making the events like kind of fun and high energy and like, yeah, like I don't know anything about men's gymnastics really, but like they, br they bring you into it. They tell you a little yeah. bit, they get you excited. Well, even like out and about walking around, there's almost like hype men. Like there's people that are like, oh, sure, good morning, how are you? I yeah, think it's funny the, the people Olympics. with the megaphones yelling at the crowds in French. I don't think and, that's funny. <laughs> well, in the vast majority of the people where we've been don't speak French. Because well, it's tourists from outside of the country. Like in the gymnastics. French speaking country. Well, yeah, and in the gymnastics tonight, they told us to like yell something, but dude said it in French. So when everyone was supposed to yell, there were like 10 people that went, ah! <laughs> Anyway, I had a great time. I do too. More tomorrow. We have another full day of events tomorrow. Hopefully, nicer like weather. It's going to be nicer weather. And Today we're was. be indoors. This is nonsense weather. Today. It was an adventure. I would have done it again, even in the rain. I didn't care. It was so much fun. See you in the morning. I'll see you tonight. <laughs> Whoa. Good morning, day two here in Paris. Super slow start, nothing going on. Very relaxing Sunday morning, right? No, not at all. We made it. 
La Defense Arena, swimming. I'm excited for this one. This one's gonna be This will be good. That was the longest line I have ever stood in in my entire life for anything ever. The crowd control here is awful. Get it together, you guys. <laughs> We're doing the bang the stick thing that we do at the start off every game. I don't fully understand it. It's a French thing. French thing. Oh. Somebody's gonna walk out and pretend to make a bunch of noise with a stick, but it's pre-recorded, and they never time it right. It's gonna be like, not even close. The first one was pretty good. He rushed the second and third bangs of the stick. I get it. You get excited to bang the stick. This French swimmer is gonna win this heat, and this crowd is gonna go nuts. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be funny. This guy's probably gonna win a gold medal tonight. I love during the breaststroke, whenever they come out of the water, the crowd chants just while they're out of the water. <laughs> Swimming complete. What'd you think? It was fun. I thought it was gonna be a little longer. Short. Yeah, that was pretty short. Less than 90 minutes. Yeah. So they get in, they run through the heats, and they get you out. Yeah, I mean, I appreciate that. I just actually, I don't know, I thought there was gonna be like another half an hour. Or Probably not the best value at the Olympics. Well, because it was pricey, and it's like the shortest one we've been to so far, so. Yeah, at least it's nice weather out today. It's Finally. beautiful. It's oh, it's amazing. great. So we have one more event today. We have hours until that, so. We're gonna go, you know. Eat a baguette or croissant or something. What you do in Paris? It's like you just come around a corner and there's the Eiffel Tower. Pretty cool. We're walking from our metro stop to an area to find some lunch and then go to the next event. I have a question for you. What? If you were going to participate in an Olympic sport, Katrina, which sport would it be? Do I have to like be good at it? Like, what are you good at that you can compete in, or what do I want to? Compete what do you in? want to compete in? We're not good at any of this stuff. <laughs> Probably gymnastics. Like, I'd want to be good at gymnastics. I did that all throughout like my childhood and in the middle school and stuff. And I always wanted to like do something like that. What about you? I mean, I played a lot of basketball, so like that's my gut instinct is to say basketball. Mm -hmm. But it would be pretty cool to like swing around on that high bar, like in gymnastics, and then fly off of it. Man, some of those dudes last night some when they missed the bar, flat. Oof! Like you heard it throughout the entire arena, just like smack, and like, oh god, are they okay? But then they got big applause. Well, yeah. You get up and keep going. People were very <clears throat> supportive, which was nice. Good vibes around the Olympics, for sure. I think so. Yeah, people are like patient. Besides the people that are cutting in line. <laughs> I sent some people to the back. That's, I mean. I am the law. You know, people are gonna do what they're gonna do, but it's kind of crappy. We've been waiting for like an hour and then you're just gonna. And I know there's Canadians. people that are gonna comment. It's Canadians too, it's supposed to be so nice. Canadians, oh, we're the friendliest people. Cut in line, get to the back. Well, I know there's gonna be people in our comments being like, well, you just need to like, you know, every man for himself. Huh? No. We live in a society here, people. It's true. Line here again. Another line. We are going to see women's football, soccer, Brazil versus Japan. It's the first football match we've gone to in Europe, and we're seeing an Asian team and a South American. I was going to say we have no connection to any of these teams, but it'll be fun. A lot of Brazilian fans here. Hopefully, we're not outside. Like we're we're under an overhang or something. It's an open stadium, but there is a big overhang, so we'll see where our seats end up being. Alright, we found our seats. We're in the front row of the section, which is really good, but like, there's a concrete wall right in front of us. Yeah. Like, my knees are in the concrete wall. 
But at least you have an unobstructed view of the entire field, so there's that. The seats are good. We're not in the sun either. We're well, not in the sun. Which way is the sun going? Don't know. <laughs> They show the same preview video before every event, so I've now seen this Olympics preview video four times. There's a bunch of crying gold medal winners coming up. Would you cry if you won a gold medal? Probably, yeah. I think we're about to do the stick thing again. Stick, 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 stick. saw an awesome football match. Japan scored two goals in like the last, what, 10 minutes? Uh, less than that. Less yeah. than that, and yeah. beat Brazil two to one. That was great. It was I, crazy. I didn't expect them to win. I actually thought Brazil was going to win. The sun got right in our face for the back, I don't know, third of the game. Oh my God. Very warm. American tourists are annoying. These girls behind us, I understand why you guys hate Americans so much. They don't hate Americans. They just are annoyed by certain American tourists, right guys? Well, those were behind us. And I actually feel very learned having learned. Lived, lived through, it's a word, look it up. Having lived through the Euros last we, month. We know a lot more about football I, now. no joke, learned actually a lot about the Euros that I could take to this game that we went to here at the Olympics. I do want to talk about the wave really quick. We saw the wave pop up multiple times during the game. Did you stand up? Uh, I, no, I was, I was working the camera. Oh, no, you weren't. The, the wave is great. It's like the best thing about a stadium match. However, when everyone's smelly and gross and disgusting, the wave just becomes everyone putting their arms in the air and you smelling their armpits. It's kind of gross. I mean, by the end of the day, you don't smell great. That's so. that stadium's old and crusty too, by the way. Yeah, it is very busy. All right, we're it's vintage. We're we're off. We need to find drinks and shade I'm and. So Katrina, I have a question for you. Yes. Did we win the Olympics? Like us? Yeah. Did we win the Olympics? Yeah, did we win? I think so. I think this last session in Paris, though, I think we may have lost because of the commute home. We had a rough situation with buses and trains to get back to our neighborhood here in the 17th. What's the next word? You know, starts with an A. Uh, that word. Yeah. yeah, it sucked getting back here. But we're here, we're fine. It's Sunday night, we had a long, good weekend in Paris at the Olympics. We have more Olympics tomorrow. We do. But not in Paris. It's interesting to me how it's the Paris Olympics, but it's spread out all around France and even... Fiji? Fiji? Or Tahiti. Tahiti. And that's yeah. where we're going tomorrow. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> no, we're not going there tomorrow. But we are gonna continue tomorrow morning. We just wanted to say goodnight to y'all here. This is gonna fade to black and then it's gonna fade back up and it's gonna be a beautiful new place, a new venue. And hopefully in seconds. New weather. Well, Let's find out. We don't know. Rolling the dice. Here we go. Here we go. Into the black. We have made it to Lille, still in France, and we are on our way to go see the U.S. women's basketball team play Japan in the Olympics. All right, so we took the Lille Metro out here towards the stadium where the basketball is all being held. It's a football stadium that they cordon off partially for basketball play. It's a 15-minute walk from the train station, and they call it a festive walk. They have made it festive. It's not looking very festive. There's colors, and I hear a tuba. Tuba. Tubas are festive. I see the tuba. They're trying to make it fun so that you're not upset that you have to walk 15 minutes. <laughs> On this festive walk. Oh, you're jogging though. You can only walk on the festive oh, walk. I can only walk. My arms have to be festive. That's a good.
good free. So I was just telling the guy who painted the Frieze back there about our viral Instagram video that Katrina posted with Frieze falling down. It was an accident that I even caught that. I just thought the mascot was cute and he freaking fell. He fell. <laughs> and currently it's Monday, July 29th, and that video is at like Almost 660,000 views right now. Yeah. If you don't follow us on Instagram, go follow us. Go follow us. But anyway. We post really dumb stuff. Silly. Really dumb stuff. <laughs> They're also playing handball at this arena, I forgot. There's one other sport here in Lille, handball. I know nothing about handball. Well, actually I became an expert on it last night, watching the Netherlands play France. Don't ask me who won. We went into a deep dive on handball, so if you guys have any questions about handball, it's yeah. your guy. It's played here. <laughs> Get number four. Get number five. Porte numéro quatre. Porte numéro cinq. It's Leo. I bought these tickets so long ago I didn't even remember where they were and they're quite good. I mean, we're in like second row. We're very close to the action. Free shoes here. I have to get a big shoe. I'm sorry, Frieze, for putting that viral reel on my Instagram of you falling. You completely made up for it. That was probably a different Frieze that fell. No, it's Frieze. It's just, it's him. Uh-huh. It's me, Katrina, and the yellow guy. It's the yellow guy. Team USA won handily against Japan. Handily, you say? Handily, yeah. Ballily. There were a lot of Americans there, too. A lot of Amer a lot of Japanese people, a too. Lot, no, a lot of Japanese, too, but yeah. like there was surprisingly a lot of Americans there. Probably coming to see both men's and women's basketball Maybe, here in yeah. Lille. Maybe it's, they're here for the USA handball team, but they decided to go to see some basketball, so. Maybe. Probably not. <laughs> That's the Olympics. We did the Olympics. I, I mean, I think we got like a good sampling of a little bit of everything. Now I know how people go to the Olympics. It's not as hard as I thought that it was. It was always like when I was a kid, like, oh my God, like how do you get tickets? Who goes people there? People were messaging me all weekend. How did you get tickets? Yeah. I'm like, I got on a website. You literally just go on and like add to cart, but. I had a great time. I did too. Happy birthday to me. <gasps> Happy birthday to me. Mm -hmm.